as you can see, level two, 240 volts. Okay, so this is um, the first step in charging your EV from the two 120 outlets. The first step is you're going to need um, preferably four extension cords. I mean, you could um, a potential outlet I could charge my EV is this one, maybe this one, um, then perhaps this one in the corner, and I have a fourth one is in back of me. Then what you're going to do is you're going to randomly pick um, cords and see if you're going to get two four volts on them. So you can see I have four cords here. So once you get all your four extension cords, you're going to randomly start trying to measure voltages until you get two for three. So I plug in, you're going to want to plug into the hot. So an outlet, it has a uh, hot, which is the smaller one of these plugs. You can see the rightermost is smaller than the left. So this is the neutral, hot, and ground. Um, you're going to throw out the neutral, never, you don't need to measure that. That's not used, so just the, the hot. So I have these two um, plugged into the hot, so the two, these two um, cords. So I put a, a lead into here. And then for this one, which is hard to see, I guess, I have a lead into here. Um, so over here, you could see, for example, I'm getting 250 volts. Um, but if I plug into this cord right here, um, for example, we have zero volts because these two are, um, they're on the same lighting circuit. So obviously it's on the same um, lighting circuit. You're not going to get any reading because um, they're going to be at the same um, voltage potential. So you're not going to find anything. And for example, if I measure these two, um, see, they, they also, I'm not getting anything. Measure the hot here and the hot here, I get 0 0.3 volts. So basically, you're going to have to mess around. Um, identify one pair. Uh, you know, you're just going to, once you identify a pair, right, that gives you 250, you're going to mark it. Okay. You're going to remember this pair. So now these two, that means they're on different circuits. Okay. And you're gonna take one of these boxes, which I, show, I showed you guys how to build one of these in a different video, but I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but just check the description on how to build this. You're gonna plug one end into here. And one plug. Okay. The other end into this. Apologize for the camera. This is a budget kind of thing. So now once you have these two things that are plugging into each other, you can charge your electric car. Okay. And as you can see, we measure these two across. You get 250 volts. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to then from here, you're going to plug that into an extension cord that will run outside. So, like this. Okay, so now that we have our outlet all plugged in, we're just going to head outside and uh, we'll show you that. Okay, now that I'm outside, you're gonna wanna take your extension cord plug into a box and you can see I plugged my readers in. I have 250 volts. Um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to plug it into a um, your EV charger. Um, so I know that this one came stock with a Chevy Bolt or anything wrong. So you just plug that in like that. Um, so you just, just plug your normal EV charger, plug it into your 240 volt line. Just kind of plug it in. Um, let's see if we could get some light into this little area you can see and now if I um, unlock the car you can see that uh, we are indeed getting 240 volts level 2 on here um, as you can see level 2 240 volts um, so then also, um, 
I guess I was mentioning about the adapters. So basically, um, for example, this uh, plug has the 120 volt um, thing. I looked at the wiring pinouts as aforementioned before, so I know it's safe. But for example, if your EV charger was a different um, sort of plug, you could get these adapters. Like this one, um, after goes from 120 to this 240 plug, you get adapters from 240 plug down to 120. You could get so many adapters. So you just get adapter, plug it into your extension cord like that, and then you could run your EV charger off uh, your level two EV charger off of this thing, this uh, this plug or whatever whatever plug type is necessary. You just Google the corresponding adapter. So this actually works pretty good. This uh, charges my car much faster than 120. I know a lot of people are like, oh, let's just get an electrician or whatever to do it. But that's 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 not necessary. Um, just all you have to do is just find those two outlets. And um... one last thing I forgot to mention is to examine the breaker trip time curves. The relationship between breaker time to trip and current is an inverse relationship. For example, drawing 30 amps will trip a 15 amp breaker in maybe 30 minutes, drawing 20 amps 1 hour, drawing 18 amps 3 hours, drawing 16 amps 10 hours, draw drawing 12 amps never. Make sure to size your EVSE to match the trip time curves to eliminate the probability of tripping. The way you can determine what um, circuit breaker um, amperage you could use is you're going to go to your um, panel in the basement, you're going to switch off every 20 amp circuit breaker, and you're going to go upstairs, you're going to take a voltmeter, and you're going to measure the outlets and see if they get power. If they, um, for example, aren't getting any power, then you know that they are on a 20 amp line and that you could draw 20 amps to charge your EV. So the good thing is you're going to get your clamp meter, you're going to clamp it. So this is the bottom. Got a clamp on that, you can see it's drawing 12 amps, um, which is fine. And I checked that the outlets that I'm plugging into for charging the EV, they, they're on a lighting circuit. So I earlier measured the amperage at the outlet. You could use like a kilowatt hour meter, they're like $10 on eBay. Um, and I found that the lights and everything else was drawing like one amp. Um, so it's not really a big deal. So, um, yeah, so obviously the limitation is you can't plug your 32 amp um, EV charger into one of these things. I mean, I guess you could. Um, it would probably only charge for 30 minutes before the breaker would trip. Since I checked and the circuit breakers that carry for these outlets are 15 amps, um, I will um, probably buy a 15 amp EV charger to charge that um, car. Uh, a lot of people are going to say, oh, the NEC code is rated for 80%, so um, 80% of the nominal for continuous loads, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. They have to have a safety factor of two. For example, you know, 14 gauge 15 amp Romex could safely handle 30 amps before melting. Um, so there is a bit of a safety factor built. To conclude this video, um, any questions, just put them in the chat and um, hope you have a great rest of your day.